I was excited when I saw this patent and immediately decided to make a review. And I will tell you why. I often get calls with various questions related to gasifiers. Part of the calls come from tinkerers who sometimes advise building utopian gasifiers. For example, to put a microwave in a gasifier reactor to enhance its efficiency or to make a wheat harvester capable of immediately producing fuel for itself from the wheat straw it is harvesting. And what do you think? Inventors already thought about it back in 1939. This work belongs to Comrade V. Filatov. He was an ardent gasifier enthusiast and even involved his younger brother, N. Filatov, in developing one of his patents. The younger brother outlived the elder one and filed patents in the 1960s. However, they related not to gasifiers but agriculture. Filatov Sr. filed patents both before World War II and after it, having survived the bloodbath. I noticed that those who worked on the subject of gasifiers in the institutes filed patents during the war as well, for example, Engineer Mezin. Those who apparently fought at the front and came back alive after the war filed them a couple of months after the victory in June-July 1945. A great many people did so. How passionate these people were about the gasifier topic that they nurtured their ideas in the trenches. As soon as the war was over, they rushed to patent offices and filed their patents a month or two after the war. I can see all of their stories, inventive intentions, and dreams by browsing through the USSR patent database. I will pay tribute to the uncelebrated gasifier Filatov and show all of his patents. Although he was not a venerable scientist, wrote no books or brochures, and was either an ordinary engineer or a handyman, indispensable for scientists, his works are worth talking about. I will start with the patent on harvesting straw by a harvester in the field, and then I will show his other patents in chronological order. The patent on straw harvesting was filed on May 17, 1947. The idea was as follows, a combine harvester with a trailed or mounted mower drives through the field and harvests straw. The mower then sucks it into a gasifier by ejection drying it a bit with engine exhaust during this process. Filatov suggested using a lawn mower cutter bar to cut stubble. The mower blades can be rotated from the harvester drive or some other way. According to Filatov's calculations, the possible productivity of a 1 meter wide mower at an average tractor speed of 1 meter per second should not be less than 3 kilograms of straw. Apparently, the engineer planned to install the device on a tractor. 3 cm long stubble, cut by the mower, is sucked by air from plate 4 through nozzle 5 and fed through pipe 6 in the hopper mounted on a tractor or harvester on support 16. Figure 2 shows the scheme of straw stubble feeding into the hopper. Exhaust gases are fed into casing 7 through pipe 8 from engine exhaust pipe 9, equipped with shut-off damper 10. After passing through the casing, the exhaust comes through pipe 11 to ejector nozzle 12 creating a vacuum in the ejector suction pipe. Straw together with air comes up through nozzle 5 to pipe 6 and is ejected through the ejector outlet pipe into hopper 13. While moving through the pipe, the straw is dried by the engine exhaust passing in casing 7. Gas and air mixture exits the hopper to the atmosphere through pipe 14. The straw is unloaded from the hopper for filling the gasifier through lid 15. The gasifier is refueled manually. Today it can be done automatically through knife gates. Now let me show you some of Filatov's other works. On June 13, 1939, he filed a patent for a gasifier igniting device. I will not focus on it because now you can buy small gas kindlers everywhere. On May 3, 1940, Filatov filed a patent for a mobile tractor wood chunk dryer. The patent directly refers to the lack of dryers, as well as chunk storage bases, that were never built in the USSR. There were only a handful of such firewood bases, not 2000 as in Europe. I will not dwell on this patent either, because today every gasifier owner can make a drywood depot for himself, there are plenty of wood chopping devices and dryers for sale. On May 25, 1947, Filatov filed a patent for a straw gasifier that could gasify other low bulk weight agricultural wastes. From what Filatov wrote in the patent about gasifiers for straw and similar agricultural wastes, 
I understood that he had analyzed devices made in the USSR and described the problems that engineers faced. In the patent, he proposed his version of the increased capacity straw gasifier, as well as the simplified firebox with the upgraded removable blowing system. Let's review the design of this device. Its firebox connects to pipe 1 placed inside hopper 2. Fuel is marked with the number 3. Air is supplied through a vertical nozzle system, not shown in the drawing. There are end and side holes at the nozzle end. They are located in the firebox in a way to equally distribute blowing air over the whole gasification chamber cross-section. There is a feeding auger for inside tube 1. The auger axis 5 rotates in the bearing 6 through tapered pair 7 from axle 8. Fuel comes from hopper 2, to the bottom of pipe 1 through side windows 9 and is risen by the auger of the tube into the firebox. And, my payment details for your donations and early release of new videos are in the description below the video. See you soon.